Okay, here I kinked my spline up again. If I uh, select on here and uh, hit the relax spline, you see it moves. So I'll hit Control Z, make it go back where it, way it was. Now I can right click on it and we can show uh, display the control polygon. And this allows us to make changes. So this is uh, SolidWorks. Uh, control vertices functionality but still you know the just the fact that you've got this relaxed spline button here gives us you know you have two possible solutions for the same uh, for the same inputs um, you do have in SolidWorks we do have these uh, the ability to make um, symmetrical splines as well so if we were to you know, put in a center line here like this and then grab both these and and hit the uh hit the mirror, then uh you know you can uh, you you can edit splines nicely like that symmetrically. But one thing I don't like about the way SolidWorks works with symmetrical splines is if you set up something like this where you're trying to do it all with a single spline and you make that symmetric and then you make these symmetric and then you take this endpoint which is you know kinking or not kinking but it's curling all on its own here uh, if I take this and control it it's only controlling the tangency direction on one side so and if we show the uh, just control polygon on that you know, it's clearly not symmetrical. So it, it'd be great if SolidWorks was able to handle symmetrical single splines like this. They can handle where the whole spline is symmetrical, but not symmetry within a single spline. Uh, anyway, here's another annoying one. Um, if you set up a, a spline like this and then make a construction line and set these up to be tangent, Notice that the diamond on this is now black, and you can't use this to change the direction. The only way you can do it now is with the uh, with the construction line. So that's kind of annoying. Another another thing I've run into is that sometimes on on the other side of the arrow, you'll sometimes pick up the ghost arrow, and it won't allow you to select the the construction line. It'll only get the mirror of uh, of these handles so uh, I don't know that one uh, that one's been an annoying thing that's that happens frequently here's another one if you make a, make a second spline and you want to make this spline um, C2 like this now you can't use these handles at all to change the direction of the of the tangency so you have to insert manually a uh, another construction line in here and make that tangent and then use this construction line to control the uh, control the direction this is just a clumsy spline handling now to see if you can um, use the control polygon and CVs to do this um, it looks like you can control the the weighting but not the direction it's uh, kind of awful. Let's try out this other one here. Uh, it, it's this is this is ugly. It's it's putting another. Oh yeah, there you can if you zoom in to get the uh, get the CVs down here. Looks like you can control it with the CVs without the construction line. Um, but you can't use the handles.